Yes. So there was a time, and I will say it, there was a time in my life, maybe um, I'm going back some years, but there was a time in my life, me and um, uh, one friend, we were, uh, I, I've shared this story many times, and it's a true story. Me and a friend of mine, um, and when I, I was in my 20s, so it was definitely a while. I remember me and him was going to prayer service almost every day. And every time me and him got out the, out the car, he, kept, he found $300 on the floor. And I'm like, okay. So, I, you know, that happened one time. The second time it happened, like two weeks later. And then I took him to the mall because he ain't had a car. Then I took him to the mall and we got out the car and he found another stack of three. I said, this is, I'm like, what's going on here? I'm sorry, looking up the heaven. I'm like, um, you know, yeah, you know, just, just, you know, wanted to say a little something to you up there about, you know, to look down on the brother over here. I'm the one with the car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he couldn't get these blessings if it wasn't for me. Now watch this. As much as I kept saying, man, I am proud of you. When we walked in the mall, I had a lit, I, I had a cane experience. Y'all forgive me. Y'all point your hands my way, Jesus, Father. Forgive me, Lord. I had a cane experience. We walked in the mall and everything in me is like, I'm, I'm walking next to him, but I'm looking at him from a different eye. And he did nothing to deserve that. I drove him home. I called him my friend, but I was getting angry at that man. And I had to actually one day in prayer, humble myself and say, Lord, I'm jealous of my friend. That was the hardest thing to say all of these lips. Because, you know, as Christians, we like to meditate on that type of stuff. <laughs> and I had to say it in prayer. Lord, I'm, I'm jealous of my friend. I feel like you love it. I said it like I feel like you've got you. you Because I needed some money at that time. I was broke. I'm like, you know, what I could do with three hundred dollars, Lord. I just need one of them three hundred dollars. He got three. I just need one, Lord. I'm struggling over here. And so I was feeling something. And I kid you not, I went to prayer, y'all. And I'm trying to pray. And pray and pray and say all these other words with this anger in my heart or this jealousy in my heart. And I felt like my prayers was hitting the ceiling and was going nowhere. And I just I just humbled myself and said, Lord, I'm jealous. Forgive me, Lord. I'm jealous. I am jealous. And I ask you to help me to celebrate my friend for the blessings that he is getting. Do y'all know after that, God blessed me with five hundred dollars. So the test wasn't even for my friend. <laughs> he was just testing my heart before he gave me my blessing. This may be too. Uh... <laughs> so sometimes you may see everybody else getting married around you. You may see everybody else getting their house around you. You may see God giving everybody a favor. And he's just testing your heart just to make sure there's no trapped emotions that's going to affect your real blessing. So it's the test before the blessing. And Cain had an opportunity. God spoke to him and said, listen, we can make it right. We can make it right. Because he says, listen, if I'm talking to you right now. But he told him, he says, listen, sin is lying at the door. That if you don't get this trapped emotion out, you go act on it. He was telling Cain that if you don't get rid of this trapped emotion, you go act on it. And you know how we do. I ain't going to never do that. I would never cheat. I would never steal. I would never smoke drugs. I would never. And, he, and God was like, listen, get the trapped emotion out. Get the trapped emotion out. I would never. It's kind of sound like this. I would never deny you, Lord. And Jesus said, Peter, you go deny me three times because you got some pride in your heart. No, not me. Mm -mm. He said, OK, the right circumstance will prove it. That night. He denied him. That's what trapped emotions can do. So humble people says, what do I have to what do I have to lose? Everybody in here including me, got trapped emotions that we got to get out of us. And this is where the humble says, listen, Lord, I can't do this without you. Many of us have came through traumas. Many of us came from all type of digital, all type of stuff that has messed with our minds. Some of us have went through experiences that we still can't even talk to people about. And we're walking around here saying, praise the Lord. And God is like, listen, OK, praise me. But you got to get that thing out of you. 
So I've implemented praise and worship for you to, to really just be free to just let it out. You don't even have to, you, it's just me and you at this moment. And I can go inside and I can take that trapped emotion, get it out. And all of a sudden you start feeling like, man, my neck don't hurt. My leg don't hurt. My back don't hurt. Well, this one trapped emotion affected your finances. It affected your relationships. It affected your health. It affected your mind. It affected everything. And because you let it out. Now the blessings of the Lord, the grace of God is able to rest on you because you are humble enough to admit it. Jesus. Mm. This is what is behind door number three. Trapped emotions. So tonight, when we worship tonight, we're going to give you an opportunity as we sing. We're going to give everybody I, tonight will be the opportunity that if you are humbled, even, even, even me, I'm, I, I'm tonight, I, every day, every day, every day, I'm always saying to the Lord, Lord, if I feel something, if I feel something, if I feel any kind of emotion that is kind of off balance, okay, Lord, instead of me going to these type of things to fix these, this, this mood regulation, let me just sit in your presence for a little bit. Instead of me running and taking the remote and watching some foolishness TV shows, let me just spend time meditating on your word. That's why you can now understand why he says meditate on my word day and night. You know why? Because he knows the more you do that, the more you can regulate your mood. Now you start feeling the peace of God, which passeth all understanding. That will keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. So he says the more you can just meditate on my word. The more you can just let your word. He said, the more you get out of your heart, he said, you're going to be in this world and still have peace. Every, all, the, all this craziness going around you, but you, for some reason, you still sleeping all peaceful. All this craziness during the COVID, during the marches, during violence, during mass shootings, you still at peace. Why? It's because you got the Prince of Peace inside your soul, taking those trapped emotions, saying, let's get bitterness out of you. Let's get angerness out of you. Let's get jealousy out of you. And now you're feeling lighter. You're like, wow, I don't gotta, I don't gotta hide. I'm free from all this foolishness. <laughs> That's the joy of being connected to Jesus Christ. I'm gonna ask everybody to close their eyes real quick.